The trail's gone cold. I should double back. The trail's gone cold. I should double back. Molly was one of the best gals this world has ever sent down from above. She kept asking and begging if we could go back to Abertax. It was her favorite place in the world. I wanted her to flash me that killer smile of hers. That smile was enough to bring an army to its knees. The day after our wedding, I figured it was only fair I'd take her back there. But she never made it to the city. You see, usually when couples talk about a fiery honeymoon, it's never literal. They would never expect it all to go up in a thick, dark smoke. A smoke that swallows all their plans, hopes, and dreams. But you see, things have a way of working out sometimes. Sometimes they work out good, sometimes bad, and sometimes a little something in between. It's just a roll of the dice, and however those dice land is what you're stuck with. Good or bad. This is the story of what happens when those dice fall right off the table. Yo, Tommy, yeah? A couple of my boys dragged you out of that mess of a car out in the highway. I could hardly see straight. My ears were still ringing from the crash, and I couldn't tell if it was minutes ago or years. Only one thing was on my mind, though. Where is Molly? It's a wonder you made it out of there. We saw one of the Nether family tearing into your car. Nah, new here. You haven't got a clue what's going on, do you? I already didn't like this guy. Something stunk. Like a fish left in the back of a fridge. Or a boiled Easter egg that went unfound for a couple weeks. He was right, though. I felt lost as a sailor blown off course. You're in Abitax. It's the only town on a highway coming out this way, so you probably know that much. We at... Well, we were the lead researchers on everything in the Nether. By the look on your face, you know that much as well. I suggest you don't go sitting at a poker table anytime soon. I spit in front of him, but kept quiet. Ma always taught me to keep myself level-headed. If I hadn't felt like I got crushed by a 20-ton train, I would have taken him down a few notches. Charming. In a long story short, we had a breakthrough. We thought we could control the creatures on the other side. We got greedy. We tried to take control of the creatures, and they weren't too appreciative of the gesture. Can't say I blame them. It sounded about right. Most of the suits sitting around ordering hard workers, taking all the profits. Same old story. But this time they tried bossing around someone who wouldn't take it lying down. They've taken over Abitax. It's their city now. They're off hiding away, pulling the strings on how everything's run here. No one's allowed to leave, most are afraid to even step outside. I was one of the people who helped summon the other creatures into our realm. I tried to control them too. They're demons hiding everywhere, but the biggest issue is the four. Four incredibly strong and exceptionally dangerous creatures who are running the place now. Nothing he told me was surprising. You could read it all over him. He was holding himself up high and looking down on me and everyone around him. Looked just like the kind of guy to get himself into a mess and drag everyone down with him. I heard all over, but picked myself up and started to walk away. Tired of listening. My guy saw the suit in your car. What was left of it, at least. Your Tommy the P.I., right? The guy who busted the Abitax weapon smuggler? 
Guy who set up shop and scared most crooks out of whatever towns you visited? I already knew from the way he was talking that he wanted me to fix this mess. I needed to find Molly. Then we could head back the way we came and never look back. His flattery wasn't going to do anything. It's in your best interest to help me. To help the town. No one's getting out of here while the big four are in charge. Nothing gets in or out. Why do you think you got attacked? That was his problem. These weren't my people. This wasn't my problem. They got themselves into this. My problem was getting out, but I already felt like a rat in a maze that was shrinking around me, closing in, cutting off all my exits. The creature that attacked you? It got that pretty little gal you brought along with you. Sorry. She was already gone before my guys got there. You were out cold. In those few words, my entire world shattered. Molly was the nearest and dearest thing to me. She was my life, and I felt the color get sucked out of the world. His eyes gave it away. He was telling the truth. Molly was gone. You can still bring it justice. You can save this town. I've had my guys going all over looking for these creatures with no luck at all. They can hardly tell a clue apart from my left shoe, let alone accomplish anything as far as tracking a big four down. You can, though. You're a professional, Tommy. I wasn't thinking of anything at all, other than Molly. I could hardly believe she was gone. I felt cold, and more than anything else, I was angry. I wanted to make the fort pay. They took the best thing in my life away, so I take everything they had. Tommy, you're shaking. If you're gonna find these guys, you gotta keep your composure. Now look, the first of the four you gotta find is the Demon Horse. This guy's chasing folks down and snatching them off the street. I was able to track down this horseshoe that belonged to it. Maybe that could help you track it down. I hardly heard a word he said. I just knew that I was a step closer to finding one of the big four. The shoe was less than ideal. I would have preferred a specific area to search, rather than chase some horse demon all over town. But it was not a word. I thought I'd fall apart if I opened my mouth, like a dam breaking and spilling into the night. This is the place that drove Molly and me out of town. On the outside, they just grew a bunch of plants. Wheat, carrots, the like. Nothing that would make someone think twice. Completely unassuming. I got hired for a job looking into the owner. The city thought he was dodging taxes and sent me in to poke around. I got sloppy. Thought it was nothing but someone looking to keep a little extra cash in their pocket. Can't blame them. Some of the shipping boxes they had were marked and packed with vegetables. I thought they were just shipping crops out to other towns. Until I saw the cold steel hiding between carrots and apples. Three of their goons came out and jumped me. 
Figured leaving was the best thing we could have done after that. It was only a matter of time before one of them came to make sure I stayed quiet about what I saw. I couldn't let Molly get caught up in that. demon horse. They're the first step to taking everyone down, and that's just what I intend on doing. get on the thing's back. couldn't handle. It felt good to take a little back for what I lost. I can't back out of this now. The ball's in motion. I just gotta keep it rolling. Better get back to Mortifera. See it in your eyes. You took care of one, didn't you? I felt a snarl come up, but I kept it in check, mostly. Only one of us was gonna come out of that lair, and it sure wasn't gonna be some fiery monster. Nothing would have stopped me from avenging my wife. 
That's one less obstacle in the way, and one step closer to that vengeance you're looking for. You still want it, don't you? Good. That'll help you keep pushing forward to your goal. The next is two. A giant lizard that crept out of the portal. It would spy on people and blackmail them. For a sum, their secrets would be safe. Well, that's what they were told, at least. Doesn't matter now. What matters is that it's cutting off shipments to Abitax, then selling the food, tools, medicine, and other supplies to the citizens at 500% of their usual price. People are starving and sick because of it. Back when we had the demons under control before the Big Four got together to fight back, this lizard was actually pretty good at cooking the books, too. Pretty valuable skill as far as demons go. Kept on them on a pretty tight leash, but we let our guard down. Sometimes you forget that they ain't helping you out of the kindness of their hearts. A creature coming through the portal or not doesn't justify forcing it to do your bidding. Who knows if they would have been as aggressive if Mortifera and the rest of his group hadn't tried to control the creatures. Might have been peaceful. Regardless, it had forfeited any right to mercy the second it was wrapped up in the attack on Molly. And I told him to give me the info on two before I lost my temper. You gotta get back into it, I see. The lizard's feet are sticky, letting it grip to any surface. Well, get to it, Tommy. Unlike one whose hooves left trackable prints in the ground because of the metal shoes, two didn't have that. Two's feet were sticky, though, a result of a weird, gooey slime. On the ground, it got hard to see because of people coming and going, covering the tracks. But on the walls and ceilings, that was a different story. 